All right. So we're going to do a two-sided box and whisker plot, or a stem and leaf plot from last week. If our lowest number in the whole graph is 34, the highest number is 65. So what should I put for my stem? Is the camera to supposed to be on? Because I can't see anything on the screen. Oh, uh, the camera is on. You may have to jump on and jump back in. It is broadcasting. All right. So what am I going to put down in the middle here, folks? First number, what are the four numbers I'm writing down? Three, four, three, four, five, six. What the heck? Okay, we gotta do this again, do we? All right, this is awesome. Come on now. This thing hit me so much. All right, so I'm going three. I wrote here and it's up there. Ooh, I'm going to lose my mind. It's going to get better on you. I'm going to lose my mind. Try throwing it out the window. <laughs> All right. So we're going to go back to the whiteboard here. I'm going to lose it. I'm going to lose it. All right. Those of you at home, you got your iPad, so you're good to go. I'm going to lose my mind. I got three, four, five, six. That'd be good there. All right. Mom's over here, dad's over here. All right. So, as a quick reminder, I'm going to go 44. I'll change my marker code. Just go crazy. 44, 54, 55, 49, 48. I'm going to continue to do this. That'd be good there. And then I'm going to do the same thing for the dads on the other side. Turn on the dad column. We're going to go 43, 54, 35. After I've done that, I'm going to redo it. And then what am I going to do with them? 3, 4, 5, 6. I'm going to make a second one. And what do I do with the second one? You organize them from the lowest to the highest. There we go, Geneva. We organize them from lowest to highest. So I'm going to give you five minutes to do that.
I lose my mind. This computer's gonna drive me nuts. What is your problem? my mind on this computer. My mind. All right, everybody done with that? Just a little longer. All right. Uh, Damani, just so you know, this is second hour. You should probably be in your second hour class right now.
All right, are we good to go now? Everybody got their numbers or are we still working? All right, I'm going to start going then. All right, so you can take my numbers here. Oh, all right, I'm over on that side here. Bottom numbers in 48, I believe, is the last one I did. Yep. 41, 46, 36. 41, 46, 36. 43, 36, 52. 46, 45, 46. 45, 46. 52, 43. Six, thirty-eight, forty-nine, forty-three, and forty-nine. Does everybody have the moms written like that? I think I got twenty-two numbers. Yep. I think the dad's is twenty-three, if I remember correctly. All right. Um, forty-three, fifty-four, thirty. Ooh, I screwed up. 42. This is 35. 46, Eight. I miss. And 23. Everybody good? Okay. Now, every time you make one of these, you got to do two columns. So what do I do now to go right below it? Put them in? Order. Order. So as I do it from, I start from the middle and go out. So that four, six, six, eight, that one's actually in order. All right. Uh, 40 is I'm going to have zero, one. One, two, three, threes. All right. A four. How many fives? One, five. Five sixes. Eight, nine, nine. All right. Two, two, four. Okay. The dads, five, seven, nine is in order. Um, three ones, a two, a three, no fours, two fives, three fives. Six is one, two, three sixes. Am I messing up at all? One, two, three, four nines. Two, three, two, three, four, eight, sixty-five. So pretty good. All right, we're gonna come back to this data a little bit. Um, I'm gonna try my smart board one more time. I'll just look at the data before we move on. Does it seem like maybe the moms or the dads are older more often? Yeah. It's looking like maybe the dads might be a little bit older. All right. Um, there's four dads in the 50s, one in the 60s, there's only three dads in the 50s. There's three dads in the 30s, three moms in the 30s. So I was looking like maybe the dads are going to be a little bit farther over. We're going to look when we do a box and whisker plot. All right. Um, let me see if I can get this thing to work. I'm going to try it one more time. Today. 
I'm going to try. Let's see. All right. Now. Seriously? You're going to mess with me now? All right. Okay. Now. We're going to learn a little bit about a five number summary, otherwise known as a box and whisker plot. Okay. Um, we've had minimum and maximum before. Minimum is the lowest number in our data, maximum is the highest. So if I look at that table, the minimum number for moms is 34, the maximum for moms is 54. Um, we've done the median before, that's the middle number. I have an odd number of numbers. All right, say I have five numbers, the third number is the middle one, boom. If I have six numbers, halfway between three and four, I take the average of the third and fourth numbers. Okay? What's new today is called Q1 and Q3. So what we're going to do there is we're going to do the exact same thing we did for median, but we're going to take the first half of numbers and cut them in half. I'm going to take the last half of numbers and cut them in half. So what if I cut my data now into? Quarters, 25% of the data. Okay? We're going to draw what's called a box and whisker plot. This is an example of a box and whisker plot. Here's our minimum, here's our max, here's the median, and then we cut the lower half and half and the upper half and half. So 25% of the data is gonna fall between here, 25 here, 25 here, and 25 here. Okay, we've done range before. That's the difference by subtracting this number, take away that number. The interquartile range is new, okay? It's taking the third quartile, subtracting the first quartile. So you're only looking at the middle 50% of the data. Now what you're gonna notice here is that these lengths are different lengths, okay? But they, they still contain what percentage of data? 25%, just sometimes it's more compact than others, okay? Um, to this point, we've been dealing with outliers. When we say, Hey, do you think that's an outlier? And we kind of look at it and go, yeah, I think it's an outlier. Or, mm, no, I don't think it's an outlier. Today we're going to mathematically say whether it's an outlier or not. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the number that goes between here and here, that range, from Q1 to Q3, whatever that number is, we're going to multiply it by 1.5. All right? And then we're going to add it on to Q3. So if that number comes out here, and if it stops here, then this number's an outlier. Then I'll subtract from this one here. And depending on where it ends, if it goes beyond this number, that number's not an outlier. Depends on where it is. Does that make sense? It, it gives you a definite, hey, this is where anything outside of here, you got an outlier. Okay, and we'll work through those. Right now, I would like you, we're gonna do, we're gonna make one out of a small set of data here. Okay, so I'm gonna scroll up here. And I want you to put this data in order. And I want you to find minimum, maximum, median, and range. The things you know how to do. So put these, I think there's nine numbers. Put them in order from least to greatest and find the nine things we're looking for.
érdemelni, vagy pedig fontos. Abby, I think I just asked you to put your phone away. Could you do that for me? Point three eight notes. Oh, we're taking notes right now. And then your assignment is your practice. All right, is everybody have their numbers in order? It's the greatest. I got a 61, 70, 76, 61, 70, 76, 79, 80, 86, 87, 94, 99. All right. So it's not a big nasty one like that. Okay, what's our minimum? 61. 61. Good job. We got 99 as our max. All right. Um, medium. We have nine numbers. What numbers are middle number? We have nine numbers. Forget about those numbers on the board. One through nine. What number is the middle number? One through nine. Five. Five. The fifth one. Remember, we divide by two when it's odd and add on a point five. Nine divided by two is four point five. Add a point five on the fifth number is the middle number. So I'm going to count out one, two, three, four, five. I'm going to circle it. What's my median? Eighty. Eighty. All right, what's my range? 99 minus 61? 38. 38. Okay. Now, after I take away this middle number, how many numbers are high above it? And how many are below it? Four. So now I'm, I went from an odd number to an even number. I'm going to cut these in half. So if we have four numbers, which two are the middle number? Are they going to be the median? The second and third. And what do we do when we have two numbers? We take their average. So I'm going to split them. So here's four numbers. Right there. I'm going to take the average of those two. Then I got four numbers over here. I'm going to take the average of those two. So go ahead and do that right now. And then find their interquartile range, the distance between them. How do you find an average of two numbers? You add them together and divide them by two. Add them together, divide by two. Well done. All right, 70 and 76, what's their average? 73. And together we get 144 divided by two is 73. No, sorry, 176. Oof. 94 and 81 adds up to 181 divided by two. 90.5. All right, 
Um, once again, to get the range, I'm going to just put it up here. To find the range, we took 99 minus 61. To find the IQR, we're going to take 90.5 minus 73. What's our interquartile range? What's that? It's 17.5. Okay, my numbers are going off again. That's awesome. All right. Now to make the box and whisk and plot. Okay. I got a, a number line with a bunch of tick marks. Okay. Uh, I need to go from my lowest number, 61, up to my highest number, 99. They're not evenly spaced out. What might be a good scale? Go by threes. Go by threes. That might work. Go by twos. Go by twos. I mean, we might run out of room, though, if I think we go by twos. Threes might work. All right. We decided to go by fives last hour. Twos might work. I could be wrong. Threes will work. Um, we decided that we were gonna go by fives, but we we're gonna go every other tick mark, right? And do we wanna start with 61 or should we pick a nice round number? Pick a nice round number. So we're gonna pick, I'm gonna start at 60. I'm gonna go 60. Oh my gosh, it's back. Oh, that's driving me nuts. Sorry guys, I'm going back over here. You can keep going on here. Right. We're going to use this data again in a second. We got to finish this problem off. So we decided last hour we're going to go 60, tick mark, tick mark 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90. 95, 100. Everybody good there? So what does that make each tick mark worth if two of them is five? 2.5. Okay. All right. So here's how I make a box and whisker plot. I take the minimum and maximum, 61 and 99. So 61 is right about here. 99 is right about here. All right, then I take my middle number, 80. We draw it above the number line. We don't want it on the number line. We want to be able to look at numbers. Then I'm going to take those two red numbers, 73 and 90.5. So if this is 70, that's 75. This is 72 and a half. 73 is just beyond it. And then 90.5, just beyond 90. Okay, now I'm gonna connect my data. Okay. Dot, dot, five dots, make a box in the middle, connect them. What portion of the data is in each area? 25. Okay. Now they ask about outliers. Okay. Does the data fit? Before I said we're just guessing. Now, now mathematically we say yes or no is an outlier. So what is our inter IQR, interquartal range? IQR is 17.5. Okay. What we're going to do is we're going to take that number, whenever we get this, we're going to multiply it by 1.5. So 
17.5 times 1.5. Twenty six point what? Twenty six point two five. Okay. Then what we do is we take that number and we add it on to Q three and we subtract it from Q one. And that'll say anything outside of those numbers are outliers. So what is my Q three? 90.5 plus 26.25. Well, I've got the twos in there. 116.75. And then 73 minus 26.25. 43.75. Yeah. So now we're going to look at our data. I'm going to go back over here. So did any of my numbers go above 116.25 or 75? Nope. So these are all good numbers. Did any of them go below 43.75? No, so they're all good numbers. None of them are outliers. Does that make sense? So we're like, well, where'd you get this 1.5 as you multiply by? This is like a like a formula for like pi and things like that. You take the IQR number, the distance between here and here, we always multiply by 1.5. That shows what's acceptable to add on or subtract, depending on which end we're on. Okay. Be good. Okay. Now we're going to work with that data that we just worked on. That may need more time to copy this. Forty six? Yeah. Yeah. Forty six point seven five. Still we're still good though, right? Yep. All right. So now we're gonna finish up this lesson. It's gonna go pretty quick after we get this going. So now we got that new that table that we worked on before. Okay. Okay, so I have data for men and women here, or moms and dads. Okay, so for moms, you're going to find your max, your Q1, your median, your Q3, your max, your range, your IQR, do all of those. Then do the same thing for dads. I'll do these with you for moms right now. Everybody with me? Okay. What is, oh, I should put a minimum first. Jeez. Okay. What is the minimum mom age? 34. 34. What is the maximum mom age? 54 is the oldest mom. Okay. Do the range right now. What's the range for the moms? 20. 20. 54 minus 34. I'm going to erase this in a second. Is 20. Okay. So pretty good. Okay, here's the only part that's a little bit of work. We got to find the median and the Q1s and Q2, Q3s. 22 numbers. 
That's even. So it's going to be stuck. You're going to have to average two numbers. Okay. What's 22 divided by 2? 11. So our median is between the 11th and the 12th. So as I work for the moms here, I'm going to start in the middle and go out, counting to 11. When you go to do the dads, we do the same thing. Start in the middle and go out. So one, two, three, four. Next row. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I split it in half right there. That's half the data. That's eleven numbers before the line, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Hold on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. How many numbers do you guys have? 23 or 22? 23. Oh, we screwed up last hour. 22. Well, I think I have too many sixes. How many sixes am I supposed to have? Five. I have five. five. Okay, so one of these sixes is gone. So it is right between here. All right, so we have 11 numbers before and 11 numbers after. So what's the medium? Can you do this one in your head? 45 and 46, halfway between 45 and 46? 45.5 in your head. Okay, 11 numbers before it, 11 numbers after it. So if I have numbers 1 through 11, that's odd. What number's in the middle? The sixth, remember, 11 divided by 2 is 5.5, and then we add up by a half, so the six numbers in the middle. We did this last week, so I'm going to count here. One, two, three, four, five, six. So that's five numbers before it and five numbers after it. Caleb? Okay. Oh, no. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five. Middle number, one, two, three, four, five. So what number is that? 41. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. Five numbers before it, five numbers after it. You agree with me? Okay, so what number is that? Q3? 48. Okay. What is the IQR? The I got 48. Because I thought we crossed out a 46. We did, but we have five sixes. One, two, three, four, five. And then there's the eight. And then one, two, three, four, five numbers after that. So there's five here and then five after. Okay, what is the IQR? What's the distance between the first and third quartiles? Q3 minus Q1? Seven. All right, let's make our box in whisker plot. Now here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna make a new number line. I'm gonna do the exact same number or distance between. Okay. But this time we're going to start with 30. Thirty, thirty-five, forty, forty-five, fifty, fifty-five, sixty, sixty-five. Okay, five numbers. 34, 41, 45, 0. 0.5, 48, and 54. 34, 41, 45.5, 48, and 54. Connect, connect, make a box.
Okay, that's for the moms. We're almost done here. Okay, I'm going to check on outliers. Okay. Our IQR is 7. Remember, we're taking IQR times 1.5. What is 7 times 1.5? What is seven times 1.5? 10.5. Okay, so I'm gonna take my Q3 and add that on. I'm gonna take my Q1 and subtract it. So Q3 is 48 plus 10.5. You have 58.5. And I got Q141 minus 10.5 is 30.5. Are any of my data sets outliers? So we took the 7 times 1.5, we added it on to Q3, and we subtracted. Do we have a number above 58? Nope, no outlier there. Do we have a number below 30.5? Nope, so no outliers. All right, I want you guys to do the dad info. You guys do the dad info. All right, everybody good? Not yet. Okie dokie.
Okay, everybody good. Okay, what's our minimum? 35. 35. Maximum? 65. All right. Median, a little bit of work. This time we had 23 numbers. Agreeing? Yeah. So if we have 23 numbers, what's the middle number? It's odd. It's got to be a single number. It's the 12th number. Once again, when we did this, 23 divided by 2 is 11.5. Go up by a half. It's the 12th number. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. We got that. Forty six. How many numbers are before forty six? This is the twelfth. Eleven. I'll count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Let's double check the back half. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay. All right, somebody's got a chat here. There's 23 numbers. See how the, the moms have one last, maybe someone's mom passed away or something, or see how it's 22 and 23. Okay, so now we have 11 numbers. If I have 11 numbers, what number is the middle? 11 divided by 2 is 5.5. What number is the middle? Six number. So I'm going to start back over here again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. What number is the Q1? 41. All right, now I go to the back half. So I had five before, five after. Now I'm going to do the same thing after the six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. What's my Q3? 49. 49 minus 41. Eight. Okay. Oh, I didn't do the regular range. Regular range should have been 30. Yeah. 65 minus 35. And this one is 49 minus 41. All right. We're going to do the outlier. Think we're going to find an outlier? Okay. So we're going to take that 8. Multiply by 1.5 is 12. So we do what with that number, that 12? Add it on to Q3 and subtract it from Q1. Q3 plus 12, Q3 minus Q1 minus 12. So 49 plus 12 adds up to 61. Do we got an outlier? Yeah, we finally got an outlier, 65 comes after 61. Okay, let's do the Q1, 41 minus 12. 41 minus 12, 29. Are any of the ones before outliers? No, we're good. Okay, so we have one outlier of 65. 
I'm gonna make my box and whisker plot. Hopefully you guys didn't have too much issue with that. Okay. So, 35. I'm gonna do it below the line this time. 41, exact same spot. 46. 49. 65. What's the indicator that you got an outlier by looking at the box and whisker plot? One of the ones. This thing is so long, all right? Twenty-five percent of the data, remember, falls in each part of these. But look how long this is. There's still one fourth of the data is in there, but it's that long. Earlier, we speculated that maybe the dads are a little bit older than the moms. Is there maybe a little bit older? It shifted, if you look at the box here, it shifted on touch. The 41's lined up, the median was over a little bit, and the Q3 is over a little bit. But I wouldn't say it's super like, oh yeah, the dad's way over the moms. That makes sense? Okay. I'm gonna come back to this in a second. I got a quick story for you when we're done. All right, I'm gonna go over here. Uh, Sarah, you may have to jump in, jump out. It says we're still broadcasting at volume. All right, this last part, we're just going to answer some questions here. All right, I'm going to go back to, back to this. Oh, now my camera went out. Sweet. Okay, camera's back on. All right. So, boom, minimum. I'm going to go through this quickly with you. 40. Whoa, that wasn't even close. <laughs> yeah, let's just talk it through since this thing's going to be a pain. Minimum, 40. Q1, 51. Median, 61. Q3, I think it's 79, but maximum 100. Okay. Range 40 to 100. 60. 40 to 100 is 60. I thought that's Okay. IQR 51 to 79. Twenty-eight, seventy-nine. Jeez, Louise! How, I don't know what's going on here, guys. This is driving me nuts. All right, we'll do the math on the sideboard. Uh, what percentage of the class has a pulse greater than seventy-nine? So seventy-nine is right here. What percentage is greater than that? No. What do we say? Each percent. Each area is worth. 25. So what, what is bigger than 79? 25%. What percentage of class has a pulse between 51 and 79? 50. Because this is 25 and this is 25. Okay. This next question is a little trickier. How many students have a pulse less than 51? So what percentage is less than 51? 25. 25. But that's not what they're asking us. They're asking us how many students have a pulse that's less than that. How many total students are there in the class? 21 students. So how do I find 25% of 21 students? How do I find 25% of anything? Okay, 21 students times by 0.25. 21 times 0.25. Five. 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 
5.25, so what would you say? That'll be five kids. All right, everybody good there? All right, last question. Would a pulse of 109 be an outlier? So, what is the IQR? The IQR is 28 times 1.5. Oh, camera went off. That's awesome. 28 times 1.5 is 42. So from our Q3 over there, 79. We'll go 79 plus 42. And then we'll do Q1 is 51 minus 42. 79 plus 42 is 121. Is 109 an outlier? No. You'd say it's not an outlier because it's less than 121. Is everybody good there? This is probably one of the longest lectures you guys have had this trimester. Uh, work on this assignment.